first of all uh, welcome to india thank you so, thank you how sir was amazing uh, how was the experience been in india till now so far so good like a second time in india and uh, first time in mumbai 5 months ago here now in bangalore to like for the launch of like baradverse like after 5 months we have brought like 25 major partners in uh, like bollywood in mu- music in movies entertainment as well as some of major like uh, uh web3 partner so on one side we have uh, like uh, shimaru on gamma eros now on the other side we have kondicx uh, a local project edgg etc that are all together for this land sale it's really a great moment as a kickoff for like uh, like bringing india and indian culture in the metaverse we're excited to see like so many people came in for this event as well you got like, all the major web2 giants at shima like shimaru and web3 giant next coin this is in india yes That's so so we we have uh, here we have presence on the ground our team uh, barad box which is joint venture yeah. is great has done an amazing job yes many people don't know about what is barad box and yes. please let us know about what is barad box so usually sunbox like we have uh, like uh, different teams uh, around the world like help to reach to the local communities and project brands partners players creators uh-huh. in india like the market is so unique yeah. so big like instead of having our own team like we partner with brink which already had like a local team here we created a joint venture for barat box so it uh, like the the bringing together best of bring and then all the knowledge uh-huh. the network they have in the region and all Sandbox has to offer into this company that is in now in charge of like growing the local market, attract new creators, bring on the brands like bring Bollywood, bring movie, music. But soon they will work as well in art, in fashion, in sports. Like there's a lot to do in sport in India, of yeah. course, with cricket and so on. So there will be more. Like the team has been like uh, recently working, make a very successful market for the metaverse. and also like i saw that you are really humble like you are in the community right now you are meeting lot of people i see really less this happening in web3 right so uh, you are very much involved in community what is your future vision with the uh, sandbox and metaverse gaming what do you think in few years what we are going to have so uh, it's very important like in web3 to connect with like different project to see what how we can inspire them with the credit platform how to evolve and We see Sandbox as a platform that is very additive in value, in like, uh, like uh, enabling different projects to like engage their community, reward them, uh, co-create uh, with their presence. Uh, we feel like, well, well, I I spoke on stage to give a little bit insight on what's coming at Sandbox in 2024, like mm. better creation tools, the opening of the marketplace, a new game maker fund, uh, mobile by the end of 2024. Okay, those are some of the initiatives that we have. that we hope will encourage more and more people to step in into web3 to have a, a presence with the land to co-create participate in game jams uh, and hopefully like india will become we already see asia as like a leading uh, a driver for the growth of the metaverse we're okay. running a bigger portion in sandbox and i hope that this is just the beginning for india and uh, india will become a very uh, creative powerhouse not just like engineering powerhouse in web3 but more like on the cultural side on the artistic side like they can also drive more talents more opportunities for a uh, lot of audiences i agree with that india is really less explored in the side of creativity we are mainly known for our like engineer software right mm. definitely i see a lot of potential of creative power coming from india and bharat box is the best example of that thank you that's the beauty of like being a no code platform like you don't need to have a specific background so we hope that people more of of will discover their inner talent their inner artistic skills and maybe shift career from uh, other so uh, like options to start like expressing themselves and creating content like those voxel characters or celebrities from movies and so on in the metaverse yes, yes. so like sandbox pioneered on led the way in metaverse gaming so how it's making it's ahead of the competition making sure it's on the top of the game in coming upcoming years well being close to the different audiences approaching the markets yeah. uh, like uh, having teams on the ground partnering like that's uh, one way for us of course we see sandbox uh, we essentially see three main components at sandbox one is like 
our products. And the second is our content and the third is our ecosystem. Mm. Definitely here today we kick off the ecosystem yes. that will produce more content to be launched. Yeah. But we, to stay ahead of the game, we also have to keep working on our own products, making sure they are always like uh, enabling people to have more fun, more to create more replayability, to have multiplayer at the core. Mm -hmm. By constantly updating our product, people will be able to make um, different experiences, uh, be inspired, uh, like bring to life their imagination and more. And that's hopefully how we stay ahead of the game. Okay. So like it's a burning question of mine. Okay. So like we all in Web3 is our goal to get the mass adoption, right? So right now Chat GPT AI is getting that smart mass adoption. What do you think will be the Chat GPT movement of crypto or a Web3 space that will be like build build a very strong use case and onboard masses for in Web3? So very often we say like gaming is like the 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 the, the most likely driver of audiences towards uh, Web3, but I don't think there will be a, a chat GPT moment. In the same way that like, you look at mobile gaming, it, it was not instant. Yeah. Like it took 10 years for mobile gaming to replace and become the de facto uh, platform for most people to start playing and engaging. And what's interesting is like the iteration of gameplays. People were first copying web game, to mobile and then mobile learn through iteration of like what's all what are those new gaming format like with free to play with live ops turning games into uh, live services that you regularly update mm -hmm. um, exploring things like competitive gameplay uh, and so on and becoming and what beautiful is like it gave birth to a new format of entertainment uh, which is like you don't find on other platform yes so i believe like Blockchain technology will give birth to a new format of uh, entertainment, a different format of gaming that is not like ga mobile gaming, that is not like web or console gaming. Mm -hmm. And we'll, with Sandbox, we have the ability to drive new audiences into the space. People who never made games now can make games. Mm -hmm. People who never played games now start to like experience, socialize, make their avatar, mm -hmm. uh, connect with others, tell their story. So. It's kind of like going to be a progressive movement. Um, it will take time. Yeah, will have time. Step by step. What projects and sectors you are most bullish in crypto right now or Web3 right now? Because like you are on the top, you have an eager eye view of what it's building in Web3 right now. So other than Metaverse and gaming, what do you think will be a good sector or you are most bullish on? So, well, I, I, I'm at the core, I'm a geek. Like I'm, uh, I love to experiment with new technology and try to stay up to date. Yes. But, so, um, so there are things that I'm quite excited about, like account abstraction okay. and like all the evolution where like blockchain is will turn wallet into smart contract and enable more smarter function attached to your digital assets. Mm. That's one interesting direction. But you know, it's a, an ecosystem that's made of very smart people who are building all the different protocol and layers uh, of the value chain. Um, we feel like. Sandbox is only like one tiny portion of that ecosystem. So what I see is around a lot like Web3, Metaverse Gaming. Yes. And then like other companies like Animoca Brands that uh -huh. like counts over 400 uh, companies in their portfolio that have maybe a better, bigger view yes. as well. And uh, like every time I travel in Jab Blockchain Week, I, I meet people who are already at the edge of like uh, working on new things in technology with ZK rollups uh, and uh, account abstraction, etc. So it's also great just to be exposed and be infusing like what people are working to try to solve and see what can emerge. Oh, got it. Done. Thank you. Okay, sir. sure. <laughs> it was Thank great. you so much for coming today. Hope you had a good time. And I that like you the great, great arrangement. Overview yeah. of uh, what's coming at Sandbox. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for inviting me. Have a of course. Day. Thank you.